men, should you give your woman full access to your money? Part three. What's up, everybody? My name is Key Air, and you are watching the important things that really matter. Today, we're talking about another important subject. Men, should you give your woman full access to your money? Men, should you give your woman full access? access to your money part three okay before i get into it let me say fair use fair use fair use fair use this is an extremely important subject as i stated before i do also have some women subscribers ladies i'm not ignoring you uh but i'm telling i'm i'm directing these videos mainly primarily to the men because it happens to men a whole lot more than it happens to women. But ladies, take the information that I'm giving to the men and apply it to yourself also too, all right? Apply the same information I'm giving to men to yourselves also too. But what I stated before, this happens to women a whole lot less than it happens to men, all right? So now that I say that, let me say fair use, fair use, fair use. Particular guy was married to his wife, they had been married for a little while. They hadn't been married too long. But uh, I think they were married at least probably like under five years. So anyway, the man, as I stated before, fair use, fair use. The man had went to the bank. He went to the bank because he had noticed that there was a significant amount of money missing from the bank account. Well, what was the money missing from the bank account? The money that was missing from the bank account was about somewhere around about $24,000. The money missing from the bank account was somewhere around about $24,000. So the husband comes home and says, honey, there is about $24,000 missing from the bank account. What happened to it? The wife goes to say, it's my money, so I took the $24,000 out because it's my money. The husband begins to talk to the wife and say, wait a minute, how is it your money when you, didn't, you, put, you put in little to no money into the bank account and he put in pretty much 100% of the money into the bank account? So if you put little to nothing in the bank account, how do you feel like the $24,000 belongs to you 100%? Basically, in a nutshell, she told him, it's our money, it's my money, and I took the money. Her attitude was, what's mine is mine, and what's yours is mine. What's mine is mine, and what's yours is mine also too. So the husband got extremely angry with the wife, telling her, there's no way you should have took all that money out of the bank account without notifying me. Her excuse was, it's my money. I can do whatever I want to do with it because what's mine is mine and what's yours is mine. So the woman then begins to get loud and say, yeah, I took the money. So what are you going to do about it? Yeah, I took the money. So what are you going to do about it now? I'm going to have to expound on this tremendously. Men, if somebody is telling you, yeah, I took your money, even though I'm going to say it's my money. Yeah, I took your money. What are you going to do about it? Some men would have gotten violent. A lot of men would have gotten violent. And I want to say, do not get violent. Do not get violent. Do not get violent. Before I go any further, let me say, would you please like? Would you please share? Would you please subscribe? You please need to share this information with as many men as possible, and some women also too. But share this information, this video, with as many men as possible. Let me get into it further. Oh, also hit the notification bell too. Now, let me start back up where I left off at. As the husband went to confront the wife as to why 
is there $24,000 missing from the bank account. She goes to say, it's my money. I can do whatever I want to do with it, even though she didn't put any of the money in the bank account. And he put all the money in it. Then the woman began to say, what are you going to do about it? Now, that's where I kind of like left off that. And I want to tell you, if somebody, especially your wife, is telling you, what are you going to do about it? She's trying to get you to possibly get violent. Why is she trying to get you to be possibly violent? Well, she's trying to get you to be violent so that if you do get violent with her, she can use this against you in court. Not only can she use this against you in court, she can go ahead, soon as you get violent with her, call the police, have you put out of your own house. Did you hear what I just said? If you get violent with the woman, your wife can call the police and have you removed from your house that you are paying for, okay? So, if you get violent with her, what do you think gonna happen? The police gonna be knocking on that door and they're gonna be removing you from the house, especially when she shows, look, this is where he hit me. Look, and I do not condone violence in any way, shape, form, fashion. I do not condone violence in any way, shape, form, fashion. But basically, in a nutshell, the woman is setting you up, set, setting this man up, setting her husband up, and other women will set you up too. There are men who have been set up by their wives to have them removed from the house. And then later on, when they end up in court, the wife says something to say he was abusing me. He hit me. I had to call the police. Here's the police report. She's going to leave out. She's going to leave out that she took $24,000 bank account. Take $24,000 out of the bank account that she didn't put any money in. She's going to leave out that she got in, in the husband's face and said, what are you going to do about it? You ain't going to do nothing. Yeah. And your mama. <laughs> She ain't going to say all that in court. So, what am I trying to tell you? Men, I don't condone violence. Men, do not be violent with anybody. Don't hit anybody, even if they are trying to hit you. And in this particular situation, the woman is deliberately trying to make the man get violent so that she can call the police have him put out of the own house that he's paying for and later on bring it up in court when she decides to divorce him so that things go in her favor in the courtroom. So keep this in mind. Very, very, very important. Please like, please share this with everybody that you can. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And... Peace.